Hi, you're watching Adorama TV. In this episode, we're gonna work in a tiny space. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace and I'm joined by Fanny Belladonna. She is one of the most spectacular models in all of Paris, really in all of the world. And so we are going to be shooting in a tiny, tiny space. This is a hotel room here where I have just a little nook I'm converting it into a studio. So Fanny, if you'll go right back here by the window, I'm going to show you sort of what we're working with and how we're converting this into a working studio. So let's get started. I'm going to show you around using my new Karma grip here and a wide angle lens on my GoPro Hero 5. So Fanny is back here against this window and what we've done is we just sort of pulled the blind shut to give us a background and I'm using a Profoto softbox on a B2 head. And this is really awesome because the B2 is so small, you can take it just about anywhere. It's very, very portable, so I've got that. And then we're shooting into Lightroom, and so that allows us to see exactly what we're doing as we go. And of course, I'm using my Leica M Type 240, and uh, that's about it. Now that you've seen how small this space is, let me show you what I'm doing with the light to try to make it look a little bit larger. So back here, Fanny's against this, uh, this curtain, and I've put this softbox to the side. Gonna get a nice side light to give us some contrast. And because I can't really move the light very much, Fanny is actually going to move to the light. She is a professional model and knows how to pose. And so she's gonna be working around uh, and playing in this light and I'll be shooting right here. I'm not doing that right now because I'd block your view. And what we'll also do is we're gonna shoot really tight. So we'll get some nice tight headshots. And then we're gonna shoot some, uh, some vertical shots to see if we can get a little bit of shape. We'll shoot some black and white. We'll shoot some color. And then maybe we'll take this softbox off and shoot with hard light as well. And so that gives us a lot of options in a small space. Hard light, soft light, really tight horizontal shots, a little bit larger vertical shots, color and black and white all in this tiny space. So that's a lot of stuff that we need to do. So we're gonna start shooting right now. Let me show you one of the things we're doing here because there just really aren't a lot of options for this tiny space. But what we can do is control the contrast of the light. And so what we've done is we've played a little bit with uh, the light. I've added a grid to control that light. And what I've noticed is when I move this back a little way, so closer to this curtain, I can get some contrast on the ripples of the curtain. And by changing how Fanny is looking at the light, we can either get a more contrasty portrait or something that's really sort of nice and soft. So not only have I been playing with the direction of light, I've been playing with the intensity of light. So we were shooting at f8, but then I took that light power way down and then I started shooting some stuff around about 1.8. So we get really nice shallow depth of field. So our hair is gonna to start to fall out of focus, but our eyes are gonna be nice and sharp just to get a lot of options. We don't have a lot of options in this uh, consideration of the space, but again, we have a lot of options in hard light, soft light, depth of field, and framing. And so that's what we're concentrating on. All right, well, we've done our photo shoot. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna throw all of that stuff into Lightroom. We're gonna choose one or two winners. I'll do some editing and I'll show you the results right now. Let's take a quick look at the results of our tiny space photo shoot. We were able to do the things that we wanted to do. In other words, we shot horizontals and verticals, tight shots, black and white photos, all of those things that we said were important. It was sort of difficult when I looked through all of these images to choose just a few to retouch, but I was able to do it. So let's take a look really quickly at a few images, and we're not going to go through all of the steps I used to retouch them, but I want to tell you about some of the secrets that I used when I was retouching them. We're going to start by looking at these two images. These were shot with no softbox. Unfortunately, in the video, I don't show myself shooting these, but it's the exact same setup except no softbox. I wanted a really high contrast, grungy look, and I got it. Now, the thing with these images, if I go to the develop module, 
was that her shirt was the same luminosity as her face and so there was no central focal point to these images and so you can see here when I go to my adjustment brush in the develop module I can hover over this you can see that I have painted over her shirt and that adjustment that I used was to take the exposure down by a little bit more than half a stop now if I turn that off you can see that the shirt is about the same luminosity as her face and that means it's competing with her face I don't want that so the adjustment brush allows me to fix that issue so I did that with both of these images I think the results turned out pretty well all right let's talk about another uh, choice that I made and that was to, to look take these and make them look like they were shot with Tri-X black and white film so that's something from uh, days past the key to that was a, a high contrast black and white image but the other thing that I needed to do was add some grain to these images the grain is what people love about Tri-X film because it makes everything just look sort of dreamy now to do that in Lightroom is really simple you just hop over to the develop module and then go down to the effects panel in the very bottom and then you just need to take the grain and then turn it up so I used a setting of about 51 for the grain the size is 38 the roughness about 50 now if I wanted this to look like a high ASA uh, grain then I would use a larger size a larger roughness a lower ASA grain I would use a smaller size and a smaller roughness if you don't know what that is it doesn't really matter just move those sliders around until you get something that looks pretty cool I love this look uh, so it feels sort of that throwback look the other thing I did to these color images is make some different choices for images that were almost identical so this image here because of the way the light is falling and the way she's posing I didn't do a lot of retouching but you can see she has sort of a dark circle under her eye I thought it was fine in this image however in uh, another image this one right here same exact lighting set up the same exact adjustments in Lightroom you can see that we really uh, this really draws some attention to her face and it doesn't look very flattering so on this image I decided to throw that into Photoshop and then use the healing brush to remove that dark circle so on one image I thought the dark circle was fine another image I decided to remove it because it was just too noticeable speaking of uh, retouching and doing sort of something over the top I decided to do that as well so notice this background color if I go to this next image it's a totally different color even though we shot it in the same place and you can see that I did a lot of retouching on her face I did that using a technique called frequency separation retouching in Photoshop it's an advanced technique that would take us a long time to explain but I just wanted to point out that in a small space like this if you shoot some good foundation images you have a lot to work with and you can do a lot of different things and get a lot of different looks so if you look at all these images that we shot we got some really cool stuff in one space in a very short amount of time well thank you so much for joining us for this episode of exploring photography thank you Fanny for all of your hard work today we had a really amazing time don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV it's completely free and you can see all of the amazing episodes and also check out the Adorama Learning Center because there are tons of articles written by all kinds of people that tell you how to do things like editing photos and video and taking pictures and lighting the works again it's free so check it out today thanks again for joining us I will see you again next time